Hi, Zach Pater here, River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota. A very cool boat to take you through today. This here is a 2008 Rinker 260 Express Cruiser. This is a boat that I personally have known since uh, brand new. I actually ordered this boat for the original owner. Sold it a uh, couple of times since. But a very cool boat and we're going to give you a quick video walk through of the inside and outside. A few things on the outside of the boat. It does have a windless anchor. They do a good job with those nice tall bow rails. You can see the color is what they called back in the day aqua. We did put on the uh, arch on this boat and then it does have the white canvas. That canvas is very nice by the way. It's uh, The material is very easy to clean, just a very sharp setup. A couple of things you might notice on top of the boat, you've got solar panels. Those solar panels are hooked into a charger. That charging unit will allow the batteries to be charged while you are out on the hook or away from the dock. Work your way to the back of the boat and the swim platform is a uh, highlight feature. All molded in, you've got the ladder uh, with a grab handle there. Pull out cleats uh, right in the back swim platform. The nice little bench seat along with the cup holders. You got a transom storage trunk. Your shore power uh, for the uh, starboard side of the boat, very easy to get to. Your water connection along with your transom shower. Now I mentioned the uh, starboard side shore power connector because this boat does have the patented it's shore choice so if we work our way down the other side you'll see on the port side you can also hook the power up here and you can flip it back or forth one to the other take a little closer look on the top deck it's got all r90 non-skid which is very nice good traction control up on the bow of this boat just very well finished and again your windless anchor your remote spotlight and just aesthetically a pretty sharp looking boat so from there, let's take a look inside. As we step on board, you've got nice carpeting throughout the boat. Uh, you have your wet bar right when we walk in. Solid Corian countertops. There's a cooler down below, and it does have side steps as well. The back-to-back -back seating here where you've got the full bench seat going across the back. Upholstery, it will be hard to see in video, but is in very good condition overall. And then you've got the backwards facing seat here. Grab rails, all stainless hardware for your bimini top along with stainless speaker covers. Work your way to the other side, you've got that nice port side chase lounge. Stainless steel cup holders, all stainless grab rails, more stainless speaker covers, beautiful little storage spot up here on the dash. And one thing I would say about Rinker boats in general is you sit very nice and deep in all their seats. Work our way over to the helm seat. It's certainly an oversized helm seat with that. Very nice contours, just a very good looking setup and it does have the flip up bolster as well. As you flip up the bolster seat, you certainly get yourself a lot of leg room, very easy to stand and drive the boat. The boat is yacht certified, if you can see the tag down there. While we're looking at the helm here, you've got tilt steering, Lowrance GPS, stereo controls up on the dash, two stainless steel cup holders, your MP3, your auxiliary plug-ins, good looking burl wood accents. You do have a digital depth finder on the dash as well. Work your way down, easy to use switches, Lenko LED uh, lit trim tabs there, electric trim tabs, which are nice. Your spotlight controls and windlass controls just off to your right, along with the VHF radio. And you will notice the high water alarm mounted there as well. All the lights in the boat you can see underneath are LED lights, which shows up pretty cool at night. Just a good looking helm package on this 260. From there, we'll go down inside the cabin, but first, I wanted you to notice it does have steps here molded into the dash to take you up onto the bow through the walkthrough windshield. All right, so we're gonna walk inside the cabin, and this is probably where Rinker's fit, finish, and attention to detail is, I would say, as good as and as nice as any boat in the industry. You look at their vinyl headliner, the use of upholsteries, the use of fabrics, I like how they do the small things like their cabinetry. You'll notice this flush mount cabinetry, so it's not sticking out. I like how the burlwood accents match as they go through. Just shows that they put a little more time and effort into it. Your microwave here, again, solid surface Corian countertops, electric cooktop. They covered the sink, which is very nice. Work your way forward, and again, you got those nice accents, the nice vinyl headliner. Love the use of fabrics that they do. Nice easy opening port windows, speakers up in the front with the mirror. Work your way to the other side, you've got more up top storage. And then actually on the back side here, you've got the TV with DVD player, solid wood corner pieces, stereo, light controls, air conditioning controls, and storage underneath. As we work our way to the back of the boat, again refrigerator underneath, 
you've got your mid cabin the mid cabin is very nice and open it's very easy to access you got an opening port window back there as well and when you get down underneath it is very open mid cabin you can see the filler cushions there to fill the forward berth in as well before we leave the inside of the boat we've got to look at the head compartment here all solid fiberglass lined it's a fiberglass lined shower setup that's actually put in the boat prior to the uh, top deck being put on toilet there grab rail you've got an opening port light stainless sink the handle can come out so it can be a shower you've got a mirror in there outlet and then there's a full length mirror on the outside of the bathroom door so that there is a real quick video walk around of the exterior the cockpit and the inside of this 260 express cruiser from rinker a 2008 very good looking overall boat. I'd be glad to help answer any questions you have or set up a time to view. Again, my name is Zach Pater here at River Valley Marine, River Valley Power and Sport in Red Wing, Minnesota, and I appreciate you taking a few minutes to view our video.